Congratulations, India. And congratulations, ISRO. And while the whole world watched this with bated breath, it is indeed, indeed a sunshine moment for India. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, for making this happen by opening up new vistas for India's space sector and telling us that sky is not the limit. Thanks also, Honorable PM, for giving us the confidence, the courage, and the conviction to reach out to the stars and to discover the mysteries of universe beyond. And thanks also for making us realize the enormous potential of our space fraternity. Ladies and gentlemen, Indian scientists had been working, toiling day and night for years and years together, but now, now comes the moment of vindication, the moment of redeeming the pledge to the nation. And coming close on the heels of successful Chandrayaan-3 landing, the successful launch of Aditya L1 is also a testimony to the whole of science and a whole of nation approach with which we have sought to adopt in our work culture. While ISRO is credited in executing this mission, the science institutes across the country have come forward to contribute in one form or the other, in small measure or big, to this mission. To name a few, the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, the National Aerospace Laboratories, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai, the Nijri, NGRI, Nagpur, the IIT, Khadakpur, IIT, Madras, IIT, Delhi, IIT, Mumbai, and the list is too long. But that, having said that, gives me the confidence to say that this day, the 2nd of September, 2023 is a day of reckoning when we move on into the next 25 years of Amrit Kal and Mother India pledges with the collective will and collective effort of our 140 crore children to reach and occupy the place of pride on the world pedestal. Congratulations once again, Chairman Somanath, the entire ISRO team and the entire countrymen.